Nigeria. in Nigeria, not just in Nigeria, and I think in Africa because um, sometime last year I was in the States and I was talking to a few people and some of them were Ghanaians and somewhere along the line your name came up and they knew you guys. Now, a lot of people know you guys. Yeah, that is what Now, to a lot of us here, you guys are like the average youth, the average person, you know, young, probably maybe within the ages of 50 below, you are like their couple goal or couples go. Knowing this, and I'm sure you guys are very, very aware, something happened recently, you know, on stage and Tiwa Savi had to, you know, do what she did. Doesn't this put you guys under some sort of pressure, knowing that, you know, this is what you represent and this is what you mean to a whole lot of people? You know, as regards how you guys live your life, is there no pressure that comes with this huge responsibility? There has to be. <laughs> Okay. Hey, you know, sometimes it's like, oh God, you know, sometimes you will even check yourself. Sometimes mm -hmm. when you want to, should I say, maybe there's a misunderstanding or there's something that's frustrating you. I mean, hey, it's not a bed of roses. You gotta admit, you know, so, but we go through our ups and downs, but a lot of things keep us on the straight and narrow. A lot of things keep us focused. God, Good. our friendship, the love. And we know that a lot of people look up to us. We cannot um, discountenance that. So, yeah, the pressure is there, but it kind of like helps us also to know that there are people looking up to us and we have to set a good example at okay. all times. Very good. And now you know it. So for those of you thinking these people, they are magicians, they don't have things, <laughs> they don't have their yeah, issues, they have it, but they just manage it well. Now, coming to you, Oga, <laughs> Mr. T. <laughs> Mr. T. In the house. In the house. Mr. T. <laughs> You're probably, to be very, very honest, and I'm not saying this because I want to flatter you or because you're here. Um, I've seen you and I think you're probably one of the greatest actors that I know personally. You know, I said, you know, there are people who act because it is their profession and there are people who naturally can act. Okay? I think you fall into the category of the latter. I've always wondered, you know, Madame too also is a very gifted actress. I've always wondered why you guys never took up acting careers or at least, you know, start off like a TV show because you guys were fantastic. Your segment on the Charlie Boy show then was something we used to look forward to. Tell us why. Why? Well, I, I think I think I think music kind of took us away from acting. Um, For me, acting was I enjoyed it. It was a passion. Mm -hmm. But I started acting in '95. Mm -hmm. And I was basically in my late twenties then. Okay. There was pressure to get married. There was pressure to do stuff. Um, I don't know what they pay actors now, but mm. then it wasn't so fantastic. Okay. What I what I would make doing one show, mm. I probably wouldn't do in about two three things. Mm. For, and that that would be weeks and weeks of of work. So let's just say the economics of it all learned me into music <laughs> and music. definitely that's my number one passion i'll always say music is my number one passion and music can consume you if you're really if you're really successful okay. and uh 20 years ago 25 years ago with me and i were on stage most sometimes it's friday saturday sundays mm. and even midweek went mm. every week like four days a week wow. so we were so busy at that time that there was no space for acting and that's mm. somehow you just find find acting falling by the wayside Okay, so can we, can we, should we say or think, is it okay to believe that somewhere in the year's future, we'll probably see a production, probably even if it is an independent one from two. We're working on it. You're working on it? We've already started. Oh, so I'm in spirit. Yeah. I'm a spiritual guy. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs>